The passing of Tupac Shakur remains one of the biggest mysteries in the entire music world. The police never even solved the case on who's guilty of the crime either, leaving fans to believe that he is still alive as the evidence relating to Tupac being alive is extremely eye-opening. It all begins with an interview by a rapper named Tretch. In 2010, Tretch was interviewed on the topic of Tupac before a concert. Tretch and Tupac were very close friends way back in the day. They even worked on a few albums together as well. But here's where things get interesting. After Tretch's interview, the cameraman forgot to stop recording. Placing his camera onto the floor, you can hear the interviewer asking Tretch about Tupac, to which Tretch responds, Last time I saw him, he was in Cuba. So if you ain't ready for it, get on the sidewalk. Oh. Oh. One last question. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows. Then, just three weeks later, a video would be released from a news website showing a video of Tupac supposedly chilling in a parking lot inside of Cuba. This is what originally created the Tupac is alive in Cuba theory, as ever since then, it has still remained one of the biggest theories to date. However, now in 2024, it's not really seeming like a theory anymore, as it all begins with a police officer revealing that Tupac was an industry plant with a job of stopping the beef between red and blue street teams. What did you find most fascinating about the alternative history of Tupac? Well, it turns out when I talked to Tupac's uh, longtime mentor, political mentor, former Black Panther Chokwe Lumumba, who was his first business manager, um, he's told me, you know, I, I basically asked, well, could was Tupac only pretending to be a in order to appeal to gangs and politicize them? And he said yes. Um, and that's that was part of his thug life uh, agenda that he came up with with his imprisoned stepfather, Matulu Shakur. And um, so Tupac uh, was just using that in order to get the and the leaders to call peace truces first in Los Angeles, then throughout California, and then throughout the country. And that was um, why he was pretending to be this type. And um, really, he was just an intellectual prodigy. As this officer is now in charge of investigating Tupac's case of his passing, he's supposed to be reinvestigating it with all of the new technology that law enforcement has to their advantage. He would end up revealing with the plan obviously not working with him trying to get peace between the red and blue street team, he then suddenly passed out of nowhere. This would end up going viral on social media. Snoop Dogg would then even be asked to react to this investigator's interview. When suddenly, Snoop Dogg would even claim that he was supposed to be in the BMW with Tupac and Suge Knight on the day that it happened. You were with Tupac though, in regards to Tupac, did you I heard a story, did you give him different advice that night on where to go? I didn't give him no advice. Right. We wasn't seeing eye to eye. Right. So. Same during the Tyson. Yeah, we this was, this is this okay. incident that I'm explaining to you right now was the day before that. Okay. So when they got to Vegas, they went their way, I went back I mean, when we got to LA, they went to Vegas and I went home. That's why I wasn't in the car, isn't in the car with them. This would then get the attention of the new police force that are investigating the passing. It would then be reported, Snoop Dogg arrested in connection to the Tupac Shakur incident. Police are questioning a recent interview by the rapper where he claims that he was supposed to be in the BMW with Suge Knight and Tupac. More to come. The topic of Tupac during Snoop Dogg's interview also came from Suge Knight's recent tweet. He would go on to tweet, this little guy is responsible for the passing of Tupac and and just a few days prior, another tweet would reveal, I've been quiet for way too long. First month of 2024, I'll be announcing what's really going on with Tupac Shakur. Now this makes many believe that Suge Knight is revealing the truth through several Twitter accounts, as Suge Knight has agreed that Tupac is alive and living well, as in so many interviews over the course of the last two decades, he has said so. One interview from Suge Knight makes a very convincing case towards Tupac still being here, where he would state that Tupac was allegedly doing fine in the hospital before his passing, where Suge Knight states, when I left that hospital, me and Tupac were laughing and joking. I don't see how someone can turn from doing well to doing bad. I mean, when I left that hospital, me and Tupac was laughing and joking. So I don't see how somebody can turn from doing well to doing bad. So you and seriously think that he might still be alive? I'm gonna tell you this, Tupac, you 
never know. But what's weird about this is according to police records, they allege that Tupac was supposedly in a very deep sleep when arriving to the hospital. So how in the world would he and Suge be laughing if Tupac was sleeping? Now it doesn't seem to add up, but when you compare it to an interview in 2008 from Suge Knight 10 years earlier, Suge Knight said the exact same thing, that Tupac was alive and that he was well. So he, he was conscious on the way to the hospital. <laughs> he was conscious on the way to the hospital, he was conscious of the ambulance, he was conscious after, uh, after they did the surgery. What was the last thing that he said to you? They love me. However, the concerning part was after the 2008 interview, only three days later, Suge Knight almost lost his life at a nightclub when a man used a firearm in his direction six times. Suge Knight was hesitant to tell the police anything at that moment as he likely knew that it was from him talking about Tupac in a public interview. As Suge Knight's own son, Suge Jr., made the exact same mistake because in 2018, Suge Jr. took it to Instagram stating that Tupac was alive and living in Malaysia. This would end up going mega viral, so viral to the point that Suge Jr. would then post another photo to Instagram showing a text conversation where someone said, you have said too much, it's now time for you to go. This is then when Suge Knight Jr. posted several photos of Tupac alongside modern day celebrities like 50 Cent and Beyonce. He made it seem like someone was going after him for leaking all this info. As on the photo with Tupac and Beyonce, he captioned it, he never left us, but they'll be after me soon. While some believe that this was a publicity stunt for Suge Jr. to gain social media clout, others do believe that it was factual as Suge Jr. would be the one to know more about the case than anyone else in the world, considering his father was right there at the scene of the crime. Now, when you compare all of that evidence of Tupac being alive to the new police records I was able to find of the new investigation force on the case, it ends up revealing the truth because the new police force recently arrested a man named Keefe D in connection to the crime. For 27 years, the family of Tupac Shakur Shakur has been waiting for justice. We are here today to announce the arrest of 60-year-old Dwayne Keith Davis, aka Keefe D of Tupac Shakur. Davis was arrested this morning by my LVMPD criminal apprehension team and this investigation started on the night of September 7th, 1996. It has taken countless hours, really decades, of work by the men and women of our section to get to where we are today. As on September 7th, 1996, Tupac was in Las Vegas with the head of his record label, Suge Knight. The two were off to the MGM Grand to watch a Mike Tyson match, and after it was over, they ended up spotting an op inside of the lobby of the hotel. Suge Knight and their entourage went to the Mike Tyson, the MGM Grand. Keefe D and his nephew, Orlando Lane Anderson, and two of their friends were also there. Keefe D told LAPD detective Greg Kading more than a decade ago in a proffer that couldn't be used against him. The thing was retaliation after Tupac jumped Orlando and him up at the casino. Surveillance cameras recorded the fight. Tupac was angry that Lane had stolen his necklace years prior in Compton. Tupac, Suge Knight, and the entourage left the casino quickly. Security would end up breaking the altercation up between Tupac, Suge Knight, and the Ops, leading to Tupac and Suge going back to their hotel to change their clothes before heading off to a club to go party it up for the rest of the night. At around 11 p.m. while driving over to the club, things would go down right in the middle of the street, as Tupac's BMW would be located right in the middle of the road in Las Vegas. Here's new about Tupac's concert at the Club 662 members, including Orlando and Keith D, jumped in their white Cadillac and started cruising the strip looking for the offender. Before long, they finally spotted Tupac's caravan. At the intersection of East Flamingo Boulevard and Koval Lane, the white Cadillac pulled alongside the black BMW with Suge on the driver and Tupac on the passenger seats. The back window of the Cadillac rolled twice in the chest, once in the arm, once in the thigh. With the aftermath of the incident being a mystery for over a decade, the police have now found answers, as they recently investigated a concerning interview by Keefe D on DJ Vlad's show. During the interview, it begins with Keefe D detailing the moments of literally finding Tupac and pulling up on him. And uh, Bubble Up was a driver, and uh, Baby Lane and Freaky were in the back seat. We were just all in the car together. Okay. This was the white Cadillac. Yeah. So you guys are driving around, and then you hear these girls say, Tupac, Tupac. You got to the light, he was gonna go uh, drink, and he happened to be hanging out the window. 
He's hanging out the window like he was in a parade. Tupac. Yeah, he was. So what happens next? You said that as you're driving up towards the towards the BMW with Suge driving and Tupac in the passenger seat. This was an extremely bold claim to make. Even DJ Vlad didn't believe him at first. He would then ask Keefy D for some sort of proof that he is telling something that is real, which leads into Keefy D sharing a never before seen interview with the police as his interrogation on the night of the crime was all recorded in his own possession. Lane starts to um, you say Shug looks over, he sees you. Uh, he looks right at you. Yeah, he looks at him. Okay. When he looks over at you, and then you know Tupac's busy getting. Shit. Evidently, the story is Tupac's trying to either get out yeah, of the line. back seat or something. Yeah. What do you see happening inside of there? Jumping car? I seen him going Shug. Yeah, I thought he. Was. I thought he was. So Orlando does this start cross Dre? He leaned over on the window, we rolled down the window. This would end up going viral on social media. Keefy D is releasing footage of the first ever police interrogation on the night of the crime, while also announcing that he was at the literal crime scene inside of the car and even made eye contact with Suge Knight. But what he said next was the most concerning, stating that Tupac was allegedly reaching for his firearm, which is what could have caused the entire thing. You said that as you're driving up, towards the towards the BMW with Suge driving and Tupac in the passenger seat. And you said that Tupac pulled out a It looked like he was reaching, yeah. Yeah, it did. He okay. Was, yeah. Did you actually No, I was Once he got the reaching, I got the ducking. So someone from your car That's what happened. started at Tupac and Shook. As also during the police's investigation, they even found Keefy D's official reaction to Tupac's passing, which ends up sharing his true emotions. Yeah, I just, I hate that happens, dog. You know, I, I really do, man. Because if they'll, they'll, a lot of people lie, you know? I hate that shit happen. Always God. I feel they, should, you know, they should, that, that was wrong, man. It was just wrong, purity wrong. You know what I'm saying? I wish it had never happened. You know what I'm saying? That's my opinion on it. I wish it had never happened, dude. You know what I'm saying? I lost my Colombian plug. You know what I'm saying? I had to been having the fans up for 15 years. Couldn't do nothing. Couldn't catch a break, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I did time for it. However, this is where it gets very weird. Keefy D wrote an entire book on being involved in Tupac's passing titled Compton Street Legend, where inside of the book, he literally confesses to being at the crime. Why is he now just being arrested for it after decades? Fans believe that it is a cover up arresting a senior citizen because there is strong evidence relating to Tupac still being alive. And if the police were able to arrest someone for the crime after all these years, the theories that Tupac being alive will go away.